So here we are again. Good day, everyone. My name is Pastor Gordon Allen of Trinity Lutheran Church in Scarsdale, New York. You can find us at trinityscarsdale.org. Welcome to another episode of Sanctified with a Psalm. Today we're looking at Psalm 31. We're going to be looking at him. 677 from the LSB verses or stanzas 4 to 6 because uh, there are quite a few. So stanzas 4 to 6 of hymn 677 from the Lutheran service book. We'll look first of all at Psalm 31. Grace and peace be to you from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ who went to the cross for us. That means he shed his blood for us. He rose from the dead, of course. We're still in the middle of our Easter tide season. He is risen. He is risen indeed. Alleluia. He has attached his death and resurrection to each one of us who have been baptized with those holy waters washed by the blood of the Lamb, the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. Bearing all that in mind, let's look at Psalm 31. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. My soul makes its boast in the Lord. Let the humble hear and be glad. O oh, magnify the Lord with me and let us exalt his name together. I sought the Lord and he answered me and delivered me from all my fears. Those who look to him are radiant and their faces shall never be ashamed. This poor man cried, and the Lord heard him and saved him out of all his troubles. The angel of the Lord encamps around those who fear him and delivers them. O oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the man who takes refuge in him. O oh, fear the Lord, you his saints, for those who fear him have no lack. The young lions suffer want and hunger, but those who seek the Lord lack no good thing. Come, O children, listen to me. I will teach you the fear of the Lord. What man is there who desires life and loves many days that he may see good? Keep your tongue from evil and your lips from speaking deceit. Turn away from evil and do good. Seek peace and pursue it. The eyes of the Lord are toward the righteous, and his ears toward their cry. The face of the Lord is against those who do evil, to cut off the memory of them from the earth. When the righteous cry for help, the Lord hears and delivers them out of all their troubles. The Lord is near to the brokenhearted and saves the crushed in spirit. Many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivers him out of them all. He keeps all his bones, not one of them is broken. Just for the record, if you're a little confused there, I did actually skip a page. I read majoritively Psalm 34. That's funny, actually, just skipping the page there. It was exactly the, the second verse of both those psalms, Psalm 31 and 34. So I was actually reading 34 there. That's fine. Uh, what a wonderful psalm that was to remind us. And that great verse, verse 8, Come taste and see the Lord is good. That was interesting. Very, uh, very appropriate as well for the hymn which we're about to sing. Stanzas 4 to 6 of hymn 677. For all the saints. I like to think of these as the communion verses. O oh, blessed communion, fellowship divine, we feebly struggle, they in glory shine. Yet all are one in thee for all are thine. Alleluia, alleluia. And when the fight is fierce, the warfare long steals on the ear. The distant triumph song, 
And hearts are brave, again and arms are strong. Alleluia, alleluia. The golden evening brightens in the west. Soon, soon to faithful warriors cometh rest. Sweet is the calm of paradise, the blessed. Alleluia. Alleluia. So let's pray. I am a sinner, Lord. Please forgive me. Clearly I make mistakes. But as I repent and come to you, seek comfort in your word, in your gospel. Continue to remind me that by your death, your suffering and pain, your stripes, I am healed. Remind me that your sacrifice is my salvation. As I continue to come back to you, Lord, thank you that this grace alone saves. And Lord, sanctify me in this truth. Your word is the truth. As you promise, your truth sets me free, so it is your word that sets me free. free to live in Christ, free not to be ashamed again even when we make mistakes. There's a difference when we return to God and ask for mercy. He was only too willing to impart to us again his grace, to declare us his children. Again, as we've been baptized into his name, that he is a doctor adopted us into his family, thereby guaranteeing us an inheritance, salvation, redemption, a gift for now and always. And the Lord bless the rest of your night as you meditate on this. Sleep well. The angel of the Lord keep you. Until next time, when you join us for Sanctified with a Psalm. And yes, I'll have to backtrack then back to Psalm 31. Uh, I'll make sure I don't skip a page next time. God be with you.